Hello there. Thank you for viewing this channel, it is our utmost desire that you are blessed by our content. So, we covet your support, in our quest for God's kingdom expansion. Kindly help us grow by subscribing to our channel and share to your loved ones. Remain blessed as you listen.
Can you please open your hands to the Lord, please? As we sing this song loud and clear. Make sure that you sing with your voices loud to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We slide unto thee, O oh, Allah, we slide unto thee. Glorious in holiness and fearful in praise. Always do in wonders. Let me hear the sister sing it. Singing it loud and clear. You have loved the holy land and fearful in praise. Always do he wonders hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. Sing it loud and clear. Your hand, your hand, your hand. What a mighty, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty, what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty, your hand, your hand, your hand. What a mighty, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty, what a mighty God we serve. What a your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand. Heavenly Lord, your name is wonderful. Your name is beautiful. My name is excellent. I worship you, Lord, for you are mighty. You got a whole world in your heart. Heavenly Lord, Heavenly Lord. I worship you, Lord, for you are mighty. You got a whole world in your heart. You got a whole world. You got a whole world. You got a whole world. You got a whole world in your What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. I've not met a door him. Angels were before him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. 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 Even angels are before him. What a mighty God we serve. 
Hallelujah! What a mighty God we serve! What a mighty God! What a mighty God we serve! Hallelujah! What a mighty God! Hallelujah! Yes, 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 yes. Let God arise and my enemies be scattered. Let God arise and my enemies be scattered. Let God arise and my enemies be scattered. Let God, let God arise. Hallelujah. Yes, let God, let God. Give me all in my land, keep me burning. Give me all in my life, I pray. Give me all in my life, keep me burning. Keep me burning to the cloth. Hallelujah, sing Hosanna. Sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Hallelujah, sing Hosanna. Yon, 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 yon. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna in the uh, uh. Lord, we lift up your name. Lord, we lift up your name. In the house of praise. 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 Hosanna in the uh, uh. Hosanna. 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 Hosanna in the Lord, we lift up your name. Lord, we lift up your name. We are as full of praise. Yes, 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 yes. I'm born, I'm strong. For the Lord, my God is with me. I'm born. I'm strong for the Lord my God is with Hallelujah I am Hallelujah I am Because I walk in faith and victory Because I walk in faith For the Lord my God For the Lord my God is I'm old, I'm old. I'm bold, I'm bold, I'm strong, for the love of my God is with me. I'm bold, I'm strong, for the love of my God. Hallelujah, I am not afraid. Hallelujah, I am bold. Because I'm walking, because I'm walking, faith and victory, because I'm walking, faith. For the Lord my God, for the Lord my God. One more time, one more time, one more time. I'm bold, I'm bold. Because I walk in faith and victory. Because I walk in faith and victory. For the Lord, my 
that person in this meeting now last night a strange voice called your name and you answered before you realize yourself it is a voice from the grave run quickly to the altar here and be on your knees so that the arrow of that voice of the grave will backfire everybody will shout this with holy violence this is not a night to negotiate here the powers assigned to disgrace me you are a liar Duh! in the name of Jesus open your mouth and declare it loud and clear Jesus is here spirit of the living God arise in your mighty moving power and cause great deliverance to happen Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this louder than anyone here. Don't say I don't understand the prayer. Just pray it. Say biting powers. Can you say that loud? You are a liar. In the name of Jesus, the biting powers, Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Father, I pray for your children here at the altar, that the strange voice that called you in the middle of the night, let the consequence and effect of that voice expire now in the name of Jesus the power summon you from the grave let that voice die in the name of Jesus thank you Heavenly Father just of you at the front of the altar here begin to shake your head vigorously that head is the symbol of your destiny you are shaking to say no to any agenda of darkness for your destiny. You are shaking to say no to the voices calling you from the grave. Something is happening over there. Yes. Let the angels of the living God pull out this plantation from our body. Pull it out. Pull. Pull it out. Thank you, Jesus. Father, continue to lay your hands upon us. Minister to us here tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Tonight, we're starting a very powerful series. And the agenda of this series is to move God's people from the minimum to the maximum. The agenda of this Bible study is to grab the weaklings and make them strong. The Bible said, let the weak say, I am strong. The agenda of these teachings is to push the weak from the arena of weakness to the arena of power. So it is called the school of motivation. The school of motivation. That is the general theme. So we're starting the first teaching today. The first teaching is called the power of motivation. The power of motivation. Please listen carefully. And pray the prayers that will follow. There was something in the life of blind man, Bartimaeus, that was not even in the life of those who could see. There was something in the life of that man that was able to motivate him. Who le- he left home, the normal begging agenda, to beg for arms. He did not know that day when he was leaving his house, that his story was going to change. He did not know 
that the story changer was going to pass at his front. And he had noises. Plenty of noises. Plenty of crowd. So there was something in that man. He asked question. He said, excuse me. I can't see you people who I can hear noises. What is going on? There was something in that man that may push him to ask the question. What's going on here? He said, ah, Jesus. Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He said, what? We said Jesus is passing by. That was all he needed. He didn't listen to anybody again. He ran mad instantly. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. It was a scream, a cry, aggressive to the point of disturbing people. There was something in that man that was pushing him, motivating him. If not for that spirit of motivation within him that day, he would have died a blind man. I said, what has happened here? Hey, Jesus is passing. No, is that why there is so much noise? Okay, let him quickly go so that I can get money for some people. But no, something within which was a motivator. I'm praying for somebody here that you will connect the story changer. And it will change your story to glory. The power that motivates people to their maximum. May that power come upon you in the name of Jesus. What is our memory verse? In 2 Timothy chapter 2. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. He says this. Study. Study. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needed not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. That is, say, don't just sit down. Take some action. Be motivated to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that needs not be ashamed. In Psalm 8, which we're supposed to be able to read from memory, but let's open it. Psalm 8. We're going to read it together. In those days when schools were schools, if you can't read this one, you will not be allowed to enter into your classroom. Psalm 8. Are we ready? Let's go. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens, out of the mouth of babes and suckling, as thou ordained strength, because of thy enemies, that thou might I steal the enemy and the avenger. When I consider the heavens, the works of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou visited him. For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou made us him to have dominion over the works of thy hand. Thou hast put all things under his feet all sheep and oxen, jay, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the pass of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name! in all the earth this psalm look at the verse 6 thou made this aim to have dominion over the works of thy hands thou hast put all things under his feet we have been given dominion and things have been put under our feet it is now your turn to exhibit that right or to allow those things that were put under your feet to come to your head that will be a personal decision but the power to move forward is already available to you there for you to use i pray that Lord will help us in jesus name they brought seven cripples to a crusade they were on the wheelchair and the man of God stood at their front and said in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Three of them jumped up out of the wheelchair. The other four were still there. And the preacher said, praise God. And took his Bible and was walking away. The other four said, ah, pastor, come back. 
I'm back now. We are still on our chair. Pastor, that is why you are still on that chair. And I say, get up. Motivate yourself. Stand up in faith. Don't fear the whether you will somersault when you try it. But they did not have that motivation. This is sometimes why people come to meetings. And angels of God will move about. They will visit A, leaves B alone. Go to D, leaves F alone. Because it cannot see that motivating power, spirit within them. I'm praying for somebody here this evening. The motivation that will catapult you to the highest point of your destiny. Everyone will bombard you with it today. In the name of Jesus. A seven fold man. Now let's look at our handout, our study outline. Motivation has become a popular word nowadays. Therefore, there are motivational coaches, motivational speakers, motivational books, motivational articles. Motivation is the energizer of behavior and a mother of all action. Few people possess enough willpower and self-discipline to go through to the end of that which they begin. And this, a lot of people start things, but finishing and going on is a problem. That's why I love that prophecy in the Bible. This, the hand of Zerubbabel has started to be. His hand also shall finish it. I prophesy upon somebody's life here. Your hands have started good things. And your hands shall finish it. In the name of Jesus. So, but only few people have this motivation. You start something and you stick to it. You stick to it. They not shine. You stick to it. It's convenient. It's not convenient. You stick to it until you get to the end of the matter. Only few people have that thing in them. In order to accomplish anything, you need a driving force. Otherwise, nothing will happen. That's why I spoke to you about blind Bartimaeus. A motivating force. Otherwise, nothing will have happened. A wish is not strong enough to make you take action. That's why things like hunger, sexual drive, achievements are motivators. A lot of people do things out of hunger. So that hunger becomes a motivator. Some do things because of sexual drive. That sexual drive becomes a motivator to them. When somebody is hungry to achieve things, that hunger to achieve becomes a motivator. One great problem of our modern day Christianity is chronic laziness. Laziness. People are not motivated to do what to bring breakthroughs to their life. Back to our outline. See, so there is However, what is known to be motivation in the Christians, Christian context? In Christian motivation, people are warned of the destruction of sin. People are convinced of the correctness and urging of divinely ordained goals. People are eager to act and keep acting to reach those goals, regardless of what others do or think. Unless people have spiritual understanding, we may be manipulating instead of motivating. This is the essence of this Bible study. In many, many churches now, motivational messages, motivational messages, motivational messages, motivational messages. The reason people are, are marrying on it now is because they have discovered that plenty of Christians are lazy. Plenty of Christians do not possess this driving force to push things forward. Plenty of Christians are just laid back and believe that what is going to be is going to be that is nothing I can do. Which is not right at all. In Psalm 1 verse 1 to 6 which is in our hand out there. Say, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of sinners nor seated in the seat of discomfort but his delight is in the law of the Lord and his law that he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters, 
that bringeth forth his fruit in the season, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. He said, But the ungodly are not so, but are like the shaft which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. But the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. That Psalm 1 that I've just read out is a summary of all motivational messages. You refuse to walk in the counsel of the ungodly, refuse to stand in the way of sinners, refuse to sit in the seat of the scornful, but your delight will be in the law of the Lord. And now said, such a person who whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Below that scripture in our outline, there is a short poem which I'm going to try and read and explain to you. It says this. You must have a hope to inspire you. Is that hope that inspires you, motivates you. You must have a path to pursue. You must have an object to work for. You must have a plan and a purpose in view. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you have a hope to inspire in you? Do you have a path you are personally pursuing? Do you have an object that you are actively working for? Do you have a plan or purpose in view in your life? If your answer is not, not stable, you really need to pray very well. Verse 2. You must have a sense of direction or else... You will go drifting along. You must have a faith that will guide you. When life holds no light and no song. There's a time may come in life when there is no light and no song. When everything is very rough. So you must have a faith that will guide you. So you must have a stake in the future. Though swiftly the years may depart. You will always have something to live for. If you have a dream in your heart this is one poem you should sit down and read and read and read and read and read and look at it deeply and deeply and deeply what is motivation motivation according to our outline here is an internal state or condition that serves to activate or energize your behavior and give you direction something inside of you that activates you and energizes your behavior what is motivation? It's a desire or a want that energizes your goal-oriented behavior. What's motivation? It's intensity and direction of behavior as influenced by your need and desires. What is motivation? It's the simulation, direction, and persistence of behavior. It is the inner power or energy that pushes one towards performing a certain action. It's the push, the initiative, the willingness to go on even when the road is rough it is stimulation towards action it is providing an incentive for action what is motivation is provision with a motive provision with a motive what's motivation is features arousing an organism to act to action towards a desired goal it is that which gives purpose and direction to behavior what is motivation it means to arouse, to stimulate, to instigate, to drive, to galvanize, to incite, to inspire, to provoke, to impact courage, inspiration, and resolution, to animate, to embolden, to influence, to trigger, or to walk up. It is the state of having encouragement to do something. It's an impulse that causes the person to act. It's something internal, an internal process that makes a person to move towards a goal. It is that which gets a behavior started and will keep that behavior going on, going on. The difference or the gap between what needs to be done and what is not being done can be close using motivation. Motivation is willingness to exercise high level of effort towards your goal. Motivation is being willing to make sacrifices for change. 
Motivation is a call to respond positively to the challenges of life. Motivation is this ability to initiate and persist at a task. You initiate and persist. That's what is called initiation. One man at the age of 35 decided to start secondary school. He said he wanted a degree. So he enrolled in Form 1, what we call GSS 1, at the age of 35. The school he went to, the teachers protested to the Ministry of Education. I said, I, 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 when you enter a class and you see this uh, old man sitting down there, what kind of thing is that one? And you are small, small students. And uh, the chair they are sitting on is a uh, children's chair. And the man will be managing himself there. That they should encourage the man to leave the school. It's embarrassing them. So the Ministry of Education asked the man to leave. This man pro- went to the newspaper to complain. The newspapers began to protest. And I, if the man wants to go to school, let him go to school. After the, the, the debate, he went back to the school. The man went through the school. At the age of 40, he finished secondary school. They thought he was going to stop there. He applied to enter into the university. He got in. By 44, he was out. They thought he was going to rest. He went back for master's degree. By 46, he was out. They thought he was going to stop. He went and applied for a PhD. At the age of 52, he came out with a PhD from a university. Those who were laughing at him when he started, those who were calling him names, those who were calling him foolish, they stopped. Because with the position that he attained, he eventually worked himself even to become the boss of all of them. I'm praying for somebody. That that which is slowing you down to achieve what the Almighty has planned for you, heaven will approve them in the name of Jesus. The power of motivation. Motivation is one of the most powerful keys to success. If you never started a journey, you cannot conclude a journey. If you don't apply pressure onto particular things, you will not get any result. If you do not sit down and, and determine and have a rugged determination that you want to succeed, a rugged determination to succeed, a person will not be able to move anywhere. It is a useless activity to sit down as a believer and you want a meat pie to be falling from the sky. And as a believer, you are not doing things that will bring money into your hand or that will bring blessing into your hands. And it's very sad. Like I was sharing at our singles meeting last week, it is foolish for you to be saying, there's no job, there's no job, there's no job. There are plenty of things you can do it may not be according to your level. But there are things you can do. And you say, come and do this. Say, me, a whole graduate. A whole graduate. Then hunger and poverty will beat you to a corner. Say, a whole graduate. I can't do that. I can't do that kind of thing. It's not possible. And I was sharing a testimony with them that day. Of a graduate man. He applied for a job. He didn't get a job. So instead of sitting at home, he borrowed a wheelbarrow. When he sees uh, a lot of uh, garbage and dirty things at the front of your house, he will pack it and go and throw it into the city bin. And when people see him doing that, they say, well done, young man. 20 naira, 10 naira. He was taking it. And it was feeding. He was not stealing. He didn't sit at home. Crying. Crying. So, what kind of life is this now? What kind of life is it? Cry, 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 cry. Many are becoming experts at crying when they should act. Unfortunately, crying does not solve any problem. It adds to problems. Crying is a waste of time when there is a problem to solve. If crying was to solve any problem, the whole world would be a large crying arena. Everybody would just be crying. People with their towel in their head to be cleaning their faces. Some with their bucket to be collecting their tears. If it can solve a problem. It becomes like the words of that my former teacher in school. He said, if beard was to signify intelligence, that the goat would have been a genius. But this beard does not signify intelligence. The goat is one of the most stubborn and foolish animals you can think of. The same thing crying. So this man, instead of sitting at home to cry, wakes up in the morning, never caring, and say, 
He's a graduate. So what? One day at Abarod, as he was, he saw a mountain of a, a refuse somewhere. And part of the refuse was blocking the expressway. He started packing it. It was then the governor was passing by in his convoy. When the governor saw him, he said they should stop. So they should call him. They called the man. The governor thought that he worked for local government. So use your local government. You see what your local your local government does not. Why, why did you allow this to pile up here? Say, Your Excellency, I'm not from local government. Too. I'm just doing this to, to put some money in my pocket. Too. The man said, What? They are doing it voluntarily? He said, Yes. Brought out his card, signed it, gave it to him. See me in my office tomorrow. When the man got the card, his body was shaking. He's a believer. So he went to church to go and borrow a suit from a brother. Because he didn't have one. So he wore this oversized suit to the governor's office next day. When they arrived at the gate and they saw him in the oversized suit, the security was saying, get, 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 what are you looking for? When he brought out the card, they saw the red barrel signature. They brought him in. He got in around 9 a.m. The governor was in the meeting with his executive council people. They were there for long, long hours. This man was just sitting down there. After some time, I think the governor wanted to go to the toilet. And he passed by. And he saw him. He said, ah, you're the young man I saw yesterday. He said, good. He said, follow me, follow me. I want you to come and see the executive council. That's why the man was ushered in there. And the governor said, this is the kind of Nigerian we want. This man was parking refuse on the street without any mobilization by anybody. So, you know, we have discussed to give a contract for this refuse clearing. Running to millions at that time. So, I have decided that this man will be in charge. That's how he took off and became a millionaire himself. But if he sat at home, problem will climb upon problem. So one of the greatest key to success is motivation. Motivation. And once you are motivated like this, begin to pursue what you are pursuing. Those who have true motivation, they don't sell their bodies around for money. There are some women, they are so lazy, so, so lazy. The only thing they understand how to get money is to lay their back on the floor and open their legs. That's all. After that, they get money and go. That kind of money will not get your destiny anywhere. And it's laziness in a highway. There are simple things you could do. There's a woman in this church. They sat down from the bank. She came to me in those days. I said, you just give me some money and pray on it. This was many years ago. I gave her 2,000 naira. She started selling biscuits. Within six months, this woman was paying 50,000 naira tight. But if she sat at home and said, a whole bank selling biscuits. Ah, no. Ah, look at me now. Oh, she may die of hunger. What you don't understand sometimes about the Almighty is this. You must give God material to work. Material to work. When you provide no material, there is nothing for God to bless. If you are a student, you refuse to read. There is nothing God will bless. You refuse to put your hand on anything. And you are praying aggressive prayer for prosperity. You have not provided anything for God to bless in your hand. Nothing for God to multiply. So that's why we need this message of motivation. Motivation will strengthen your ambition. When you have an ambition, something you want to do, that motivation will now strengthen it. That is the power of the motivation. When you have this motivation, it gives you direction, courage, and energy, and persistence. But when motivation is lacking, the person goes down, down, down to the bottom of the ladder. And people wonder how you get there. They wonder what is happening to you. We need, as a, as a believer, to rise up and not see any job as a belittling job. That one that you think is belittling, if the blessing of the Almighty comes upon it, it explodes, sometimes beyond control. It explodes, sometimes beyond control. Don't come and say, there is no job, there is nothing to do. I was a bank manager. I was the MD of this, the MD of that. Forget that now. Be motivated to start something that the Almighty can bless in your hand. I know a brother who started selling nylon bags when he was sacked from the company where he was. 
With the little he gathered, began this nine bag business. Now he has his own faction. That is what you call the power of motivation. Power of motivation. When you look at how you are performing, and you yourself see that your performance is below standard, and you now make a decision. Say, no, 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 no. I don't want to continue like this. The Bible says you shall be head and not tail. Then you begin to question yourself and drill yourself. So what can I do now so I can get away from this level to another level? That's motivation. But if you just accept everything that is coming, whatsoever is going to be is going to be. Those who will be rich will be rich. Those who will be poor will be poor. It's a lie. Read your Bible well. Some people are positioned by God to a place. By a sovereign power. Some people are not positioned by God to somewhere. They pray themselves into the position. You cannot find anywhere in the Bible. Where they say, and God called Daniel as a prophet. Look, the man prayed himself. Prayed himself into position. Prayed himself into relevance. Even if others are not getting blessed. As a result of where they are positioned. You can pray yourself into relevance. Pray yourself into solution. Hearing lies the power of motivation. And as you take your Bible and you begin to read, begin to read the story of the successful men in the Bible, you find that they are seem to be within each of them. One thing that moves them forward, propelling them, propelling them. Even in the face of terrible discouragement, something there pushing them on, pushing them on. I'm praying for somebody here that that which will push you into your destiny. And push you into your breakthrough. You will manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Finally, in our list, in our outline, there are four major types of motivation. That is achievement motivation. That is then use drive to pursue and attain your goal. That is competence motivation. You are doing something, you there is a drive to be very good at that thing. That's what somebody has said. That anybody Listen to me well. Anybody who can do anything better than all the ones around, no matter your distance, people will come and look for you. The truth. If it's ordinary here, you can play it. And you can play it much more better than those around. You will be located. Whatever you know how to do, you can do it better than those around. They will come and look for you. They will look for you there. That's how sometimes doesn't matter where a church is located if the power of God is there, it will be located whether they put it in one mountain somewhere far away, or they put it in one deep forest somewhere if that power is there people will go there and locate it it is the fact of life the attitude of life think about it beloved it is shame on us Christians that people will be writing letters to church I got quick notice, I got quick notice my landlord asked me to leave and by the time they bring some of these letters, most of the landlords are children of the devil who are not born again. Most of them are not even educated. The majority of the houses in this Lagos are owned by people who, can, who, don't go, who didn't go to school. And so you say you have BSc, and your, your landlord is uh, Baba something, something somewhere in Brickley. Maybe Baba Tafik or Baba something like that. One of the house. And you are educated. You are working for the money. The money is collecting your money. We believers need to sit down and be motivated. And this Baba, whatever, maybe it was a brick now. They will say, Come and build us for somebody. We use three bricks for you, take one brick back home to go and build it. Mm-hmm. Now he has built the house. I are now to you, graduate. This is a very, very serious matter. And we need to understand this very well. We have a welfare structure in this church. Sometimes they say, You learn something, give you some more money to start it. Some don't like that at all. They would rather prefer to come every Sunday. Give me 20 naira. Give me 10 naira. Whereas the white man says, teach a man to fish. You have fed him for life. Give a man a fish. You have given him a meal. Three, there is a power motivation. Something that says the position you are is powerless. You want more power. You want more power. Four, is attitude motivation. That is, you see the way you are thinking your life is and you don't want it, and you want to change it. Conclusion, beloved. We need to completely open ourselves to the motivational power of the Holy Spirit and the power in the Word of God every day of our lives. The Lord wants to bless us. 
But the Lord does not bless lazy people. The Lord wants to sanctify what is in our hand and multiply it. But if there is nothing in your hand for him to bless, there is nothing he can do. He asks Moses, Moses, why are you kind to me? What is that in thy hand? A rod. Oh, use it. Use it. What is that in thy hand? So then use it. I'm praying for somebody that that which will catapult you from the position you are to a position that will make you uncommon will manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is here and his power is in this place. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet now. We are going to pray now. Somebody here who wants to fulfill his destiny in a powerful way to shout this prayer louder than anyone here. Those who don't want to keep quiet. But those who are tired of the enemy just doing what they want. They should shout this with boiling anger. Powers! Press it down my head! In the name of Jesus! In Jesus' name we pray! All eyes closed. Within the next few minutes that we got here, I want you to believe God for the kind of touch that blind Bartimaeus had. I want you to pray from your heart, from the heart of a warrior. This prayers I want you to pray. The manifestation is not a question of tomorrow or next week. It's something that has to start instantly here. So every power lock it up my glory. Can you shout it loud? Duh! In the name of Jesus. Mapata satala kayaba Riba saponda kayaba shed Every power looking up my glory Your time is up Die in the name of Jesus Basante katela kayaba shenteraba Somebody is broken through over there Yes In Jesus name we pray Dragging my progress on the ground. Can you shout it loud? Damn! In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Jesus. Bapota Sapila Katanda. Ribola Kaponda. Every power dragging my progress in the ground. Die, 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 die. In the name of Jesus. Thou power of God. In the name of Jesus. Move. Aha, 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 aha. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says, The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. He will now command. Say, my way. Open. My father owns the land. It's a declaration. It's a prayer. Can I hear the sister shouting it? That open is not powerful enough. Can I hear the sister saying it again? Brothers, let your voice be loud now. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Command your way to open. The land belongs to your father. Open your mouth, open your mouth. This is 70 days prayer and fasting program. Where God moves my thunder and my fire. Yes. Yes. Jesus' name we pray. 
The first example of household wickedness in the Bible was Cain. Cain killed Abel. Can you shout this loud and clear? Cain of my father's heart! Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Satya. Jesus. Jesus. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Something is happening right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Makapota setende ke yabo shenta. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Say, Thou power of God. Lift me up. Can I hear you shouting out? In the name of Jesus. Thou power of God. Our Lift me up. Lift me up. Something is happening here. In Jesus name we pray. I want your amen to be supersonic and to be dynamic. If you connect your feet to mine, you will see what will happen. The Bible says, open wide your mouth and I will feel it. Father, I'm praying for all your children who are here now. That Lord, you will personally lay your hand on the head of each one here. Whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, whether the enemy likes it or not, with that hand of God upon your head, receive your lifting. Receive your promotion. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Makate Center. The height where no one in your family has reached. The money no one in your family has had. The position no one in your family has occupied. Receive it now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Let your amen be loud. Receive it. 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 Makapola kaya bo shentera ba. Ribo soponde kaya bo kara bo sanda. Na ribo soponde kaya bo shente. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The anointing for unexpected promotion. The anointing for unexpected wealth. The anointing for unexpected breakthrough. Receive it now. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Grab your head with your two hands. And in a sevenfold way. I receive it by fire in the name of Jesus. Shout is seven ten.
Hello there. We believe you have been blessed by this ministration. We pray your blessings shall remain permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Kindly do well to subscribe to our channel, by clicking the red button on your screen, and share so others can partake in this blessing. Thank you. Stay tuned for more messages and prayers.